I stand with the free people of Hong Kong. It's been a year since the national security law imposed enormous restrictions on the people of Hong Kong. But as Americans, we have not forgotten. As the United States Congress, we've not lost track. We continue to be able to speak out for the free people of Hong Kong as they face the oppression from Beijing. Teachers that have been imprisoned, journalists that have been imprisoned, individuals that are being able to told not to speak, candidates who are not being allowed to be able to run, loss of internet privileges, loss of engagement with the rest of the world, and a constant surveillance society. It's not how the free people of Hong Kong have lived. It's not how anyone should have to live. We stand for basic human rights, freedom for every single individual to be able to live out their values, to be able to live their faith or change their faith, to be able to speak out in a free press, to be able to teach their children. That's what we stand for. We're going to continue to be able to stand with the free people of Hong Kong. Myself and Senator Tim Kaine, we actually put a bill together to be able to do internet circumvention for the people of Hong Kong so that you would have access to the rest of the world and importantly, the rest of the world would have access to the people of Hong Kong to know the real story of what's happening on the ground. For those of you that are also standing side by side, thank you for your engagement. You're helping people you don't even know, but you're helping people live in freedom. Bless you for that. And we continue to pray for the freedom and the people of Hong Kong.